Cap Sanery. You know, everybody says all of those big name, um, you know, YouTube bean potters out there, they say, um, Tap centering is just a numbers game. You just got to do it. You got to sit and practice it for a couple of hours. And at the end of that couple of hours, you'll know how to tap center. Okay. If that's what it takes, I guess I'm game. Might as well be. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else. So, got this little doodad. It's fairly lightweight, and I'm gonna obviously place it down. Now, to center it, that's where my finger's touching it. And all I have to do is push away just a little bit, and then do it again. So here's the way I taught Tim to do it. You take your thumb, Tim's a music teacher, and you stick your thumb right here at the base, right here. And every time, one, two, one and two and three and four and four and one two two three four one and two and I just end up I I can't do it that way I told him that and he was off to the races it's like that is I can do that all day long, but that's his job. I can't, I can't. You would think I would be able to do it with my squeaky wheel, but I, I just can't. One, two, three, four. I'm just counting it every time. One, two, three, four, one, and Two and one, two, three, four, one, and I'm gonna be here a while. So I have that thing, I have this, this is another thing I could work on. I have a bottle of water I could center, I have a bucket of water I can center. And I have a weight. This is 50 ounces, so this you would really have to whack. Look. They're right. And you just have to do it a hundred times. I'm gonna give it a shot. Wish me luck. hard. I have no idea why seafoam with bentonite is harder than all the other things that I have up here, including the 50 ounce weight for my balance scales. Um, but it is, it's lightweight, it's less than 100 grams because it was test batch and I did a 100 gram test batch in a, you know, old container and it is harder than all of the other ones. It is also most like what I will have to be centering. But I do have some tips. Um, it seems that the counting thing does work. But I think what I was not told and what Tim got right on the thing is that, you know, your hands have to be in the, in the right place. 
And I told, what I was told and what I told him was 3 o'clock and 1 o'clock. And that's when you'll get that 1 and, 2 and, 3 and, um, or, you know, whatever. For whatever reason, that doesn't work for me. However, 7 o'clock and 3 o'clock tend to work pretty good. Why it's not 6 and 12 and 7 and 1, I don't know. But, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. You know what, though, I could, I could find some tools. Let me, let me find some tools and, and we'll, we'll figure this out. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, it's out of time. So my hands are in this are in the wrong plot are in the wrong spot if I'm hearing this. It's ba 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 not ba 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 okay? So that's when my hands are in the wrong spot. So ah, too close. Three, one, two, three, four, one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three. So that seems to be the key to tap centering. Um, you know, getting your hands in the right place um, and recognizing uh, when it's going to come around. And then, when you've got your hands in the right place, this is another interesting thing, is that it, it may have been seven and, th and two right then, but then on some of these others it was seven and three and maybe it was seven and four. You know, not seven, I don't think I had any seven and fours, but um, this holding this hand like this instead of like this um, was more comfortable to me. Make sure you're not on your legs because that's going to move your hands. You want to be on your splash pan or some other, I don't know, balancing place, but your legs are moving, so don't use your legs. Um... But once you get a one and two, and when I was going really, really slow, I started counting one and us. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a. Um, and that helped a lot. This is pretty easy to center. This is pretty, was pretty easy to center. The other thing is, like, I threw these, and whatever you're centering you're, is going to be something that you've thrown. But what I found was, if I wanted to center the rim, um, because everybody knows there's a twist in here somewhere, right? Um, and it may be noticeable, it may not be, and if you're perfect, then you don't have that. I'm not perfect. So, um, so my rims and my bases... Are always a little wompy jawed. Um, not roundness, maybe, but they may not be exactly one on top of each other. You still have to tap at the base to change the placement of the rim. So, to do that, 
same thing, right? Here, I'm going to use the top here. One, two, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, tap, one, and two, and three, four, and one, tap, two, tap, three, tap. One and two and three and four and one tap two. You get the idea? Um, you still have to tap at the base. If you try tapping at the top, tap and tap at the top, I don't know. For me, it just, it, it wouldn't move. It wouldn't move the piece. Um, enough to make a difference and if you did knock it you were likely to knock it over so um, now don't get me wrong if I've got a piece that I'm trying to tap center on here it's gonna be upside down which means the heaviest parts gonna be at the top and all of these the heaviest part is at the bottom so who knows what that's gonna mean you know when I get to an actual piece but I'm having more success than I ever have. On this particular one, there is a point at which you can hear your own, um, the flaws in your work. And so I just thought I'd point it out. So I'm dragging it. I'm dragging it on the wheel head. So I know that I'm going in a perfect circle here, but it's hitting the pot. Bump, 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 bump. Bump. It's not hitting the pot just once and it's not hitting evenly all the way around the pot That means that this is an oval at some level It's not it's not perfectly round which is fine But if you get that bump 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 That's a flaw in your work. That's not a flaw in your tab centering. So At least that's my theory I'm obviously not an expert on this since I'm sitting here trying to learn it. But, um, but yeah, big takeaway as far as what I've done so far. You've got to figure out where your hands have to go. And if you're trying to center the bottom and the rim and the bottom aren't in line for whatever reason, then you still have to tap from the bottom. These... If you if you're tap centering from up here and I know Tim does it I mind-blowing but as I was doing it all they wanted to do was turn over or catch on this and throw the rim out of center I mean like if you did that on a piece of leather hard clay while you're trying to then what it would do is I would tap it here and then it would instead of centering the bottom it would just catch and, and then make the squish the rim. So, um, so you still got to tap tap from the bottom. That seems to be key. Um, that's my theory, anyway. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Oh man, it's been a crazy couple of days and uh, I am thankful and grateful that I have this gorgeous wheel that my backside hasn't turned anything over yet today <laughs> and that I have a fantastic heater in my garage that I can get out here on a cold day in Texas. Um, so, thanks for coming.
that's twice now that my wide load's gotten in trouble with the slip bucket. Mm -hmm. 